G'day, I'm Kitty of the Hobart Dolls Hospital and you're watching the Hobart Dolls Hospital YouTube channel. And this particular video is the second part to the story that I am doing on the Kathy Cruz doll. If you haven't seen the first video, go back and watch because there is a story that came with this doll saying that it had been in some type of concentration camp and that wounds had been painted on it so that the children would care for the doll and not focus on what was happening around them. My job was to reverse some restoration that had been done to this doll many years ago in order to see that those wounds still existed underneath that restoration work. This has been a very labour intensive job and I suspect this is going to go on to the third video at least. With the owner's permission, I have been able to undo the seams on these legs. The reason why I have done that is because I have been peeling back some of the restoration work that's been done on the legs and the arms. But I've only been able to find very faint marks that are a little bit difficult to assess what they are. And my thoughts were that maybe because this material that the doll's made from is quite, it's very strong, but is also quite thin, that maybe that whatever was painted onto the doll or drawn onto the doll during the time in the camp, that maybe it had come through to the other side, to the inside of the, of the, of the, uh, the limb. And so if I go from the inside, I may well be able to spot uh, the remains of these wounds. So I have undone an arm along the seam and one leg. And I've done it very carefully. Where the restoration, pre, or where the previous restoration um, has, taken has taken place, I've had to cut through the bandages that were wrapped around the legs and painted. Where the restoration hadn't taken place, I was able to very carefully cut through the stitching and so preserve the material. So it's actually going to be relatively easy to stitch back together. Again, I'd like to emphasise this has been done with the approval of the owner. And I have removed what I presume to be, I've been told, is reindeer hair stuffing. Put that aside. And I'm now going to have a look inside the arm and the leg. If I can find any indication of marks there then I will then proceed to remove more of the surface uh, restoration bandages and paint to see if I can then find uh, more detail underneath that but I'll look from the inside so I can see that there's been um, a hole through the knee and I'll have to take my glasses off and I'll also switch on this light so there's been a hole through the knee that the person restoring the doll has filled and bits of hair have been caught in it. If I can look around that restoration, so maybe that whatever was painted on there, it has, it's been handled so much, maybe those areas where the wounds were painted are the areas that have deteriorated. So I'm removing some of the glue and some of the filling that's been used to fill those holes. Wow. I can see something that looks as though it has come through the material. It's um, a little sort of a, a pink red line that really wouldn't have any reason for being there when the doll was made. It's a smudged line. It's not um it's not an ink impression. It's not something that's been stamped on there. It looks like something that's been drawn on there. 
Well, this may well be what I've been looking for. Whew. I'm not going to cry. And looking in the arm, there's areas that are quite pink and smudged also. And where the restoration has taken place, where there's been a hole in the elbow, it looks as though there's been some glue painted on there. And that glue, I think, has preserved some of the marks that would have, that that were there. So I can see a pinkish area where there's been some sort of a, a blotch of some kind. Again, it's not the paint that was used to paint this. It looks something different. And there's like a, a line across the arm where there's been some stitching. An interior bandage has been stuck on to hold the arm together. And when you lift this bandage, yeah. So what I think's happened is that where these injuries were drawn on the limbs, it's either worn through or someone has tried to remove them by cutting them away, which is possible. Because these things are pretty terrible. Maybe someone wanted to remove the memory. And yet the doll was kept because of what it represented. So what I will do now is uncover some of the surface repair of the arm, but I really believe that these marks are the remains of the wounds that were painted on this doll when it was in either a concentration camp or certainly a transit camp on the way to concentration camps. I feel that even without doing further work to undo the restoration, I believe I found proof. And if this proof is, if I'm correct, this doll means so much. I will put out an, at least another video where I've removed more of the surface layer to see if I can expose more of the injuries that were painted on there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.